sacred participants, witnesses, to celebrate the wedding and marriage of Jen Levy and Doug Schmidt, two special souls destined to be together. We thank you for being present today at this place of great transformation. Jen and Doug, you came here today as best friends and lovers, and you'll leave with two more titles, that of husband and wife. Your relationship will be the same and yet different. Like the water that lies before us, it will be ever-changing, yet always the same. It will be stronger. If sometimes it could be cloudy or even stormy, but we pray that your marriage is mostly like today, with the warm sun on our skin and the wind to cool our faces and a beautiful, surrounded by love event for both of you. Our lives are rooted in the Lord, so we begin with scripture. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. What do these words mean? We say them a lot at weddings. And they're not just for our ears. And they're not just for our minds. These words you must wear on your hearts. Commit these words to memory. Read them every day until you know them, you love them, and you live them. The sentiment that's in those words is divine. The sentiment that is in those words comes from the Lord. And if you grasp it, there will be three of you in the marriage. And we know that a cord of three strands is not broken. It will make your marriage stronger. Love is patience. At every moment, you're not going to feel patience. <laughs> That's when those words come. Love is kind. At every moment, you're not going to feel kind. That's when those words come out. That's why when we read them at weddings, we really take them not just into our ears, not just into our heads, but into our hearts. Jen and Doug, you met in September of 2014, seven years ago. You both come from Broward County, and now you live in Port St. Lucie, which you love. You've been engaged since 2016. You live together, and you've built a life together over these past seven years. You bought a house, cars, a boat. You have established a deep, rich life together already. And now it's time to get married. Your careers have flourished in that time. Your lives came together when you got together. Sometimes you don't know what that missing piece is. And then that missing piece works you. You got engaged on Christmas Day. You just finished opening presents. And out came the ring. Now that would be a formal proposal with parental consent was a romantic Christmas surprise. Jen's daughter is here. Haley, who's 13 years old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kylie, sorry, Kylie. Kylie. And she still likes to spend time with you. <laughs> As a, <laughs> see, she is a teenager. As a family, you enjoy spending time together doing activities at home. As you travel through life together, remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue to joy and peace, is to be found within the love that you hold in your hearts. Protect that love, support it, 
protect it, nurture it, give it time to grow and mature, and soon you'll have something like what we see before us, a vision of splendor in paradise. By choosing to spend your lives together, you're pledging to share the responsibility of making this union one of equality, understanding, and strength, and you're here to make that promise sacred. I'm going to ask you now that it's time to take your marriage vows, your sacred promises to each other. Please face one another as I ask you. Do you, Jen, take Doug to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward? In the, wait. <laughs> In the presence of God, the universe, and your family, do you offer your solemn vow to be Doug's faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow? Do you promise to love Doug unconditionally, to support his goals, to honor and respect him, to laugh with him and to cry with him, and to cherish him for as long as you both shall live? No. <laughs> Doug, do you take Jen? to be your lawfully wedded wife, your constant friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward. In the presence of God, the universe, and your family, do you offer your solemn vow to be Jen's faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as in sorrow? Do you promise to love Jen unconditionally, to support her goals, to honor and respect her, to laugh with her and cry with her, to cherish her for as long as you both shall live. We now turn to our sacred sand ceremony, a custom one which you brought here to the beach. We'll ask you to open the top. I think it kind of flips a little bit. There we go. Doug has chosen blue. Jen has chosen a deep pink. I ask you to pick up those glass jars and to pour them one after another into that custom vessel that you brought. This vessel is a symbol. It's a symbol of marriage. You notice that the vessel came here empty, but it will leave full. That's because marriage is only what surrounds the two people who love each other. Marriage is something to be filled and fulfilled with what is best in yourselves, your love, your loyalty, your devotion, your inner spiritual bond. And as beautiful and as unique as this sand ceremony creation will be, so too will be your marriage, a beautiful work of art that you alone will make and treasure forever. Okay, I ask you to turn back. May we have the rings, please? Okay, Jen, I ask you to take Doug's ring. Doug, please take Jen's ring. I'm gonna ask you to hold them flat in the palm of your hand as we ponder so the camera can see them. Token wholeness are tokens, tokens of your union, tokens of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. They represent the enduring trust and affection that you bring to each other today and every day hereafter. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, faithfulness, and that inner spiritual bond. God, we ask that you bless these rings and grant those who wear them always to have a deep faith in you and a deep faith in each other. May they always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Jen, please put Doug's ring on his finger. Hold it there while you repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side and that I will always be a 
faithful partner to you. You may secure the ring on Doug's finger. Doug, please put Jen's ring on, his, on her finger. Hold it there while you repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side and that I will always be a faithful partner to you. You may secure the ring on Jen's finger. I want to ask you to keep holding hands because we know that these are the hands of your best friend. They hold you strongly and are full of love for you as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately touch you, hug you, cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes. These are the hands that will tenderly hold you as you grow old. The hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. A final blessing from our scripture tells us to be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Jen and Doug, in the presence of God and these sacred witnesses and the universe, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.